Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Potomac Beads. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below the video. Now before I open this, I just gotta warn you guys, I got a new camera tripod and it's a little strange. It seems like it wants to fall and I keep having to fix it. I'm trying to figure it out and get it just right, so um, I might throughout the video have to stop and fix my camera tripod. So uh, here we go. Let's open the box and see what this month's theme is called. And again, this is the Best Bee Box XL. This box comes in two different sizes. I get the larger one. Old World Charm. Ooh. Alright, so here are the projects. There's bonus stuff. There's a bonus uh, pattern right there. And here are the beads for your stash. And you can see all that. Alright bonnet bracelet. Ooh, is this using uh, silky beads? Yes, silkies. Silkies are really cool. I like them. Oh, and also, by the way, the tripod that I got has a built-in light, so hopefully it looks brighter to you guys. Are those bugles? Miyuki quarter tilla beads. What? That's strange. Is, does it have two holes? It kind of looks like bugles. Oh, oh, these are kind of like bar beads, I guess. Yeah, the holes are going through there. So I have bar beads. And it said that this was a project, right? Or is this a bonus project? Yeah, this right here is a project. And that's my other project. Or, yeah, and this here is the, a free pattern. So I should have the beads for this one. Because it's one of the projects. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You guys know I love flowers. I make flower rings and pendants like this all the time. Is this a ring? Yeah, it's a ring. Oh my gosh, so it's made with a round bead. Lily petal beads. I have these. And Dragon Scale, I've never tried those. Muki Seed Beads, Lebanos. I think I have, mm, I don't have these in my stash. So it, if, if I make this, I wonder if I can make it again and try to find something and to place this with. I might have to use um, Tiny Daggers, I don't know. I'll see. Or maybe Super Duos. But oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this because you guys know I love to make 3D beaded flowers. And I'm noticing with this design that they're using the petals the other way. Actually, it looks like it can be done both ways. Because this one it looks like the petal's upside down and then this one looks like it's curved up. So either or it looks like they're doing it. That's really cool. I'm very fascinated by this project here because this is my kind of thing that I love to design. And I like how they did the center, so that's cool. Alright, moving on. This is the free pattern here. It's made with silky beads, cathedral, 4mm cathedral. Those are small. I don't think I've ever seen a 4mm cathedral bead. Tango beads. Don't have those. But I think I got them one time from Potomac. I used them for... A bracelet design that I came up with. Anyways, this is a cool project. I love their instructions. Very clear, easy to follow instructions. And I don't know how they can do it all on this one piece of paper. I find that to be amazing. I don't know if I could write instructions to go on one piece of paper, so that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at those cabs. Alright, so let's see. I'm thinking this is probably the stuff for the stash. And I want to find the project bags first. Was this a two hole? Round bead. This is eight millimeter. And I think these are the projects. Yeah, so this here is for this bonnet bracelet. So I'll do that first. So I'm going to sit this to the side. And we're going to look at the, our materials for the bonnet bracelet. This green, by the way, 
is awesome. I have this in Super Duos and I love this green. I think it's like chartreuse or something. It's an incredible green. It's so pretty. I love them. These are the silky beads. And then for the rest, okay, these, these are different from what I have. Quarter Tilla. A quarter. Oh my gosh. So it's it's not the the bar beads I have are bigger than this. These are so thin, it is unreal. And the, the color of these is gorgeous. But look at how small that is. That's really small. So what I have probably won't work for this project if I wanted to make it again. But wow, I, I've never seen these. Quarter tillas. Those are so tiny. And then we have our 15 O's. That's a pretty color. Look like it's a teal lined seaweed. And then we have 11 O's. These are gorgeous. It's a brown luster. And then our closure. Alright, so that's the bonnet bracelet. That's that project there. And then I'm going for the materials for the ring. I've made a few different rings using these beads that are for this project here, but I've also used them to make pendants. Okay, so, wait, are these different from what I have? All right, I'm gonna start with these. Check around eight millimeter. I wanna say I have this color in a six millimeter, but mine has like silver flecks on it. Those are pretty though. I like those. Okay. And these scales, dragon scales, I've never had these before. Wow, these are so tiny. I thought these would be just a little bit bigger. But they're super tiny. Really cute. So this ring, it looks large in the picture, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be a very small ring. Alright, these are the lily petal beads. Now I have beads that are a lot like these, but mine, I swear, are bigger. The... These look much smaller than the ones I have. And I thought they only came in one size. But they're cool. I love the copper color. It's a very pretty color mix here. These are 11 out. Oh my gosh. This color is gorgeous. I wonder if these are dyed. Or if this is their actual color. It's a pale green. So pretty. I love that. And then we have gold. And I'm thinking these might be galvanized. Gold, Miyuki, 11 of sea beads. Alright, so those are the projects. And now for the beads for our stash. Which looks like there's going to be a lot in here. I see some really gorgeous cabs I'm dying to check out. I'm going to put this other stuff back in here. Okay, i got to check out the cabs first. Resin gold foil cab. These are kind of like the cabs that I made a while back. I did a resin tutorial once and I thought it would do good but a lot of people didn't like it and I didn't actually get many views on it. And then right after I made it somebody copied my idea because before I made the video I wanted to see if anybody else has ever did what I wanted to do and I could not find one person that ever did my resin idea. So I did my own video on it and the video didn't do well but somebody stole my idea and then their video did well which kind of peed me off. That drives me crazy when stuff like that happens. But anyways what I did is I figured out how to make faux amber. If you guys have not seen this video you should go and check it out. It's so gorgeous. And I had a bunch of resin that was old and it had that brownish amber color to it. And so I had gold um, foil like this that's in these cabs here. And I put it in there and I had some like broken black glass. I added that to it. I put some bugs in it. I did all kinds of stuff to make faux amber and they turned out so awesome. It was really cool. And these here, they just don't have the um, the gold in it, but they also did the stuff here that I have in my nails, this chunky glitter stuff. That's in there. 
They're beautiful. I love those cabs a lot. It says on here, it's called Resin Gold Foil Cab 12 millimeter. I don't know if I've used this size yet to make a ring, but those would be incredible rings. But because there's two of each color, it makes me want to do earrings. All right, and then we have this cool tube here, pewter bead tube, bent nug. That stands for nugget. So I want to point out to you guys that this here is a bead, right? A metal bead. But um, you can do a lot of things to this. Because there's holes in it, you can weave seed beads on here. Just get a thread and needle. Tie your thread in place and you can weave seed beads on here and crystals. You could do the entire thing with beads. Or you can, down here, just find center and you can make this as a bale for yourself if you have a beaded pendant and you can have um, a beaded pendant attached to this. So there's several things you could do with this. Also you can put it into a bracelet. But I think it's meant more for a necklace because of how this looks here. Because if you're wearing this as a necklace it would be like this, right? And I think that this here or this is supposed to be more of the front instead of the bottom. But yeah, there's a couple ideas that you can do with that piece. It's a cool piece. Oh my gosh, this is a, um, a bezel, but it's wooden. So I have these in metal. You can do resin in this. You can put a picture in there and do um, resin on top. Or you can do diamond glaze. Uh, Mod Podge has, um, what's it called, Dimensional Magic you can put on there. There's a bunch of different things you could do. And even if you don't have all those fancy things, you could put... Um, a picture or something in there and do clear nail polish. Believe it or not, that also works. Check acorns. These are awesome. 14 millimeter. I have not seen this bead shape before. Oh my gosh, what is that bead? Are those melons? Those are the coolest melon beads I've ever seen. But first I gotta check these out. These are really neat. I have a bunch of acrylic beads that look like these and I love them to death and I'm starting to see a bunch of check beads that are looking more like those fancy acrylic beads that I have so that's cool. Love that. Those are really fancy. Okay, we gotta go to the melon beads. These are so awesome and I want to cut the bag open and get a better look at them but I, I can't really steal the bag so... What do I do? I have um, 8 millimeter check fire polish beads that are like these, but the ones I have are, are different colors. Those are so darn cool. And there's a lot in there. Really cool. But I do find whenever I use beads like this that are so unique and have all these colors, you can't really put this with a bunch of other colors in a piece. So like this here is going to be the main bead in the design so I might have like a black seed bead and the rest of it so it doesn't take away from the beauty of this bead. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we also have, what are these? Rhombus beads? What? I have never seen these before. Alright, I'm gonna have to get my scissors out because I need to know which direction the holes are going in these beads. I'll open it from this way. These are neat. And they're not a solid opaque. They actually have like um, lines to them. I don't know if that's being shown or not. But let's see. The holes are going this way. I thought they would be going the other way. See that there? The light going through? These are cool. I'm really loving playing with all the two hole beads. Since I got my scissors out, I want to open these. These are so neat. Oh my gosh. Look at that color. Those are really fun. These would be awesome in a wrap bracelet. I'll put those over there. Alright, next thing. Hair clip. 
12 millimeter bezel. Wait, what size? Oh my gosh, I can put these cabs into these hair clips if I wanted. These are cool. My mom wears this style hair clip a lot. I've actually wanted to bead these. I've done the beaded hair barrettes that are um, big and made for like long thick hair, but this kind here, I have not beaded these yet. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in me beading hair barrettes like this. All right, we have some, are these frames? Pewter Link. Oh my gosh, I think I have a snake closure. That's cool. These are cute. Right there's the hole. And I think that these would work as a ring. If I put them on a big finger because they are so wide. But yeah, you guys know all the um, ring bands I have. You could easily make this into a ring. That would be neat. It actually looks like sterling silver because of how they have it oxidized in the details there. Those are cool. Every time I put something in the bag, it's upside down, and then when I go to take pictures, I have to flip it over, so. Drives me crazy. Next thing, I gotta go to this. This is unbelievable. Snake leather clasp. No way. Wow, this is heavy. So, is, I think this is the size of paracord, right? I don't have any leather in my sash this thick. It just goes like that. That is so cool. And if, if I wanted, I could glue crystals in his eyes there. That's really neat. There is weight to this little guy. Okay, next thing. Bead caps. Pewter bead caps. These are pretty. Flower pattern on them. I've never seen them before. Apologize for bumping on my tripod. It's a different tripod I have this time. It's not attached to the wall like my old one. It's actually right in front of me. I know I dropped one. Where to go? Those are cute. And then we have fancy head pins. Two inch. These are cool. I don't buy stuff like this because they're very expensive to buy them like this. And you only get a few of them. So it's cool to have these. One of them left in a bag. I do like to use, I've gotten a few of these before from boxes and stuff, but um, I think that these are fun to use in necklaces at the front if you have like a centerpiece that has a whole bunch of charms dingling. I like using them for stuff like that. In a place that really showcases head pins, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next thing, what are these? Bilbo, what? Have I used these before? I don't think I have. This is this actually is kind of reminding me of the Cali bead that I got before. And this, I don't want to take them out of the bag because they're so small and the bag's not closable. But that's what they look like close up. Hmm. Cool, the cool beads. All right, next thing, cab. Glass cabochon, 30 millimeter, that's big. Uh, I think the first subscription I got from Potomac had a big cab like this. I think it was about this size and I made it into a pendant. If I find the picture, I'll put it up now. But yeah, I'll have to go back and see if that was the same size cab or not. This is really pretty. I like that. 
That's very different, pretty. I think it was a peacock um, cab that I used. Hey, this kind of matches my beads there. They kind of look good together. All right. And then we have some Tudor Bali beads. These are gorgeous. I love stuff like this. Very pretty. And then we have some Rizzo Topaz color. Oh, these are one home. I don't know if I've ever tried these. It's kind of like a teardrop bead though. They're really small. Kind of like those tiny teardrops. Which are very expensive. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a Miyuki teardrop. It's so tiny. I bought them one time to do a bracelet, which I still have not filmed the video on. I need to film the video on that. It's such a big project though, it's why I've kind of put it off. There's a lot in there. And I think this color is in this bead. Yeah, it is. See that right there? The topaz. Maybe I'll use those. I don't know. I'll try. And this bead, Iris Duos. I've used these a lot. I want to say that these are like my favorite Potomac bead. I've used so many different kinds of two hole beads from Potomac, and these here are so fun to work with. And they have a, a flower petal shape, and I've made a bunch of really cool things with them. They are gorgeous. Love the Iris Duo. And then we have the Crescent bead. These are fun. I bought, I bought a lot of these. And I made a few projects, but um, I don't think I filmed tutorials on them. They're really strange. They remind me of melon slices. Not so much crescents, because when you put them together, yeah, from this angle it looks like a crescent, but from this side here, it kind of looks like a melon slice. Or like an orange slice, you know what I'm saying? But it has that center there that's dipped out some. So th that's what I think of when I work with those. They're very unusual and I I do think that they're challenging to work with. So is that everything? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in this box. So this is it. I'm really excited to play with all of this stuff. If there is some kind of bead here you want me to work with, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to lay it all out so you can see everything and uh, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and I realized that these two here are actually meant to be used together. It fits in there perfectly so if I wanted I could glue that in there. But I really like beading around cabochons like that, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. But I will say that this glued in the here will look awesome with these beads. And I see that these seed beads match these, and I see how this here can all work together. So I, I could make a necklace. I don't know though, I kind of see that being as a stringing project. And I'm thinking that I want to go towards a bracelet again because there's a bunch of two hole beads here that I would like to play with, like these here and the silkies. These here are also two hole, these are two hole. And I love the copper beads. I'm going to try to use these. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if there is a certain kind of bead here you want me to use, and I will see what I can do. But yeah, I am thinking more of a bracelet project here because there is a bunch of two holes that I would like to play with. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And remember I will have a link for this subscription down there below in the description bar in case you want to go and check it out for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.